Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, but it would really, really help me out if you would in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. OK, let's crack on with the clip today. So we are looking at a product which is all about fine hair and boosting fine hair. It's from Garnier, so we know first things first, it's a really good standard of product and it's one of which which has really, really helped. So let's have a look. So straight off, we are looking at the Garnier Ultimate Blends and this is the hair food range, which is very, very new. I've been using it for about the past week, perhaps a little over the past week. And I have to admit, I am really, really impressed. So this is the shampoo, the conditioner, and the hair food sort of mask. If you're not necessarily sort of familiar with the the hair foods from Garnier Ultimate Blends, a hair food sort of is like a real intense mask, but there's a multiple of uh, uses behind it. So we're going to have a look at that as well, which is really interesting. First things first, which I really, really love about this range, is that there is no nonsense. And when I say that, it's really, really good to have a product which, of course, has all these scientific products in and they promise us a whole list, as long as you're on, of all different things, what it's going to do for our scalp and our hair. And if it's going to potentially make our hair thicker and how it's going to feel, that's fantastic. But when you're just looking for a product which perhaps you're going to style your hair or you've been styling your hair lately and you've been thinking that it's just feeling so lank or it's feeling so flat or perhaps throughout the pandemic, which we find ourselves in, in, of course, our third lockdown here in the UK. Perhaps you haven't had a haircut for a while and your hair's feeling a bit more heavier and you just need some lift and you just need something a bit more sort of lifted, full, uh, a bit more fullness or a bit more plumped. And that's exactly what this range is called. Um, the hair, let's get it right, the Garnier Ultimate Blends plumping hair food with watermelon and pomegranate. So this is really, really good for that. So it's a no-nonsense approach to making hair fuller and thicker. And you know what? I can absolutely categorically say before you watch any more, it certainly does do that. So let's start off and work through the products. So let's have a look at the shampoo first of all. Now, I've been using this for a little over, just over a week now. And this straight off is perfect for anyone. So men, women, fine hair, of course, it's predominantly for plumping fine hair. So if you're sat there and you're watching this and you're thinking, I wonder if that would work for me, I have got fine hair. Now you may think that I look as I've got super thick hair. A lot of it is smoke and mirrors, I can assure you. And we're gonna to get to that in the clip as well because I'm just gonna show you how fine my hair is and the lift of the volume which you do get from this range. Now this morning I have just used the shampoo and the conditioner and a little bit of spray just over the top to hold the style in what I've got. It's Sunday so I haven't really gone to any extremes of the style of what I've got because I'm doing some studying and some catching up on one thing or another. I've not been particularly too well in the last couple of days so I've got some things to catch up on today. So I really haven't gone to town with the style which I would, um, which I'm wearing to sort of show you here. And one of the main things, the reason why I haven't done that is because I want to show you the actual natural core volume and that sort of plumped effect from the shampoo and the conditioner. So let's have a look. So the shampoo, so this is Garnier Ultimate Blends Hair Food, and this is the plumping uh, watermelon and pomegranate shampoo. So this is for fine hair. So it's gone on the bottom here, cleanse, plump, and no way down. The bottle's recyclable, which is fantastic, and it's no silicones in here for a natural feel. Now, I always like to use a product which I know is responsible, and I know then that I'm being responsible for the product which I'm buying because, of course, they have a, a reputation to uphold, number one, and they're looking after the environment. I want my children's children's children to have this amazing world which we live in today. Who wants it to be flogged with litter and everything like that, and all the poor effects which all of these... Sometimes these products can do to the environment. It's fantastic to have them, but do we often question how they get to us? So it's really great to know that it's recyclable and there is that behind the product. Let's move on. So on the back here, uh, Ultimate Blends creates its new vegan 96% natural origin hair food shampoo. Its light foam gently cleanses and boosts hair with no way down. The hair that looks healthy and plump. And it just, it absolutely, it does that. I cannot... I cannot sort of put that across enough that I am really impressed actually because and I start off the clip by saying no nonsense because very often if you use a, a thickening shampoo you may find that you get a bit of residue in the hair you may find as though you've got like a hairspray type product and um, throughout the hair which yes makes the hair thicker but it doesn't feel natural um, and then of course it's not then ideal for everybody in the family it's not if you've got it in your family bathroom perhaps it's just you what's bought it men women it's fantastic for both if you've got short hair long hair wavy hair curly hair if it's fine and need a bit of volume, you need a bit of sort of um, thickness or you need it to be a bit more plumped up or you're looking at your hair thinking actually I'd like it a little bit more fuller, 
this is going to be great for you. So the shampoo, what I like as well, in terms of smell, it's got an amazing, amazing smell. My favourite fruit is pomegranate. I absolutely love that. And the smell I get from this, I'll be honest, I don't get too much watermelon, but I do get pomegranates. And it's that ultimate freshness, which you would imagine with those kind of fruits, which you do get with this shampoo. And it smells absolutely amazing. Does it affect my scalp? No, it doesn't. Does it give me volume? Yes, it does. And it absolutely gives you great handfuls of volume. And it really does feel as though that your hair... Um, the easiest way for me to explain is it almost feels that the hair is, as you're washing your hair, is gradually sort of just feeling as though this is going to sound a complete cliche and it's not to be designed for that or intended, I should have said. Um, but it really does feel as though that you have that bit more hair even whilst you're washing it. It just seems as though that it separates all the hair and that you have much more, um, not stupidly amount. So I'm not turning on you're going to say you've got 10 times the most hair of what you've ever had because that's not going to happen. Let's be realistic. But it certainly does feel that you do um, have have that little bit more sort of whilst you're washing it's a strange feeling but you really do have to try it out for yourself the conditioner let's move on to the conditioner so this i will be very honest i really do like this and um, the conditioner you just get through the conditioner way more than what you do the shampoo as you can see just over a week i'm about here on the bottle and the conditioner it's nearly gone so that's one thing to weigh up you may well use a lot more conditioner if you're using heat if you're using styling that type of thing you're going to of course be using much more conditioner so just sort of weigh that up as well in terms of cost which we will get to but this is a conditioner which you cannot fault it you really can't now let's just be open and clear and honest so it's for fine hair it's for volume so it's not going to make your hair super 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 sleek so if you're wanting that then i do suggest you have a look at a different product but if you are looking at your hair and you're feeling i could really do with it being plumped more volumized or i'd like a bit more lift in my hair for when i whether i'm a man watching this and i've got short spiky hair perfect for that or if i'm a woman and i've got that really really nice sort of uh nice flowing glamorous hair then this is going to be perfect for you as well but what i really like about this is that whilst you leave the conditioner in and then you wash it out what I find is when my hair dries the single hairs sort of you can see almost lifting and that sounds crazy doesn't it but you can so you could kind of say does it give you flyaway hairs no it doesn't but it just makes everything gently lifted um, and I have to admit I'm looking here thinking that I'm pushing my hair down because it's really kind of puffy and that's the thing, it does do this. Um, so I haven't got any sort of wax, any pomade or anything in my hair today. I've just simply dried it off um, and then I passed a brush through it just through the end. I haven't gone absolutely crazy in making this hair super volumized so it looks fake. This is the product. So what you're seeing, this texture, this lift in my hair is from the shampoo and the conditioner. And I do have fine hair. I mean, as you can see, it's not thick. It looks thick in the roots, but we're gonna brush it through in a moment just so you can see as well. But what I like about this is that it does exactly what it it says how many times have you bought a product and it doesn't do what it's supposed to this does and you know what it's something which i would actually keep buying i bought this and i thought to myself i'll try it it will be something i can bring to my channel i always really really love i enjoy looking at products and reviewing products particularly for fine hair being i have fine hair but of course i have a lot of it fine and thinning hair is different Thinning hair, of course, is the amount of scalp you have on your, uh, the amount of hair you have on your scalp. And of course, if it's decreasing, you're losing your hair gradually, then this is going to be great because what it's doing is it will really give you that maximum lift of what you've actually got in your hair. But bear in mind, thinning hair, yes, can be daunting. If that's happening, speak to a medical professional and really, really get to the grounds of what you're dealing with. But just remember, thinning hair can look just as amazing as what thick hair and fine hair can as well, or even just medium texture. Be confident, be positive about yourself as well, because of course, hair isn't everything, but it's a great place to start in making us feel good about ourselves. Let's move on. So we're looking at the hair mask. This stuff, I have to admit, I have tried two of these from the Garnier Ultimate Blends uh, hair food ranges and wasn't a fan of them. So I thought to myself, I... <sighs> I was really trying to sort of hold my opinion before I uh, I, I used the product and I thought mm, when I'm using it it's it looks really really heavy how on earth is it going to be for fine hair how on earth is it going to be for fine hair and I really didn't expect what I actually got from it so I've used this a handful of times and it really does plump the hair up. I'm going to tell you a little bit about this because sometimes this can be a little bit misleading. It's a hair food. It's a mask with fine hair or really, really thin hair. You'd think, oh, I'm never, ever going to use that because it's going to weigh the hair down. This does not do that. 
So, Ultimate Blends Plumping Hair Food, Watermelon and pom Pomegranate. So, it's 79% natural origin of ingredients. It's a three-in-one hair mask for fine hair. And let's just go through. So, some of the key points on here. Yes, it's vegan, so it's fantastic. Yes, it's 98% biodegradable formula. And it's, yes, dermatologi dermatologically tested. There we go. And, and it's... Uh, yes to plants oils and it's no to seconds for a natural feel so we know we've got all those natural ingredients and that's something which i'm going to go through the shampoo and conditioner and the hair mask again just to give you a little bit more information on that but what you can use this product for and i'm saying products i don't want to just call it a mask because three ways to use it you can use it as a conditioner it's a bit more of a richer conditioner so apply on wet hair to instantly detangle and boost the look of hair without weighing it down Number two is a mask. Apply on wet hair, leave for three minutes, rinse out, and it leaves your hair looking boosted and feeling plumped. And it absolutely does that. It certainly does. I cannot agree with it more because it's fantastic in really lifting the hair, but giving the hair nourishment, but not to the point where it's super, super heavy, sleek, and sort of flat. It nourishes the hair, yes. Not as much as what a, a damaging conditioner would do, but of course we're using it for plumping the hair. So you want that that sort of that core boost from the product, and um, it almost gives you that scaffolding in your hair to then go on and style your hair. So you're going to have that amazing style all day, or for whenever you're going to shampoo your hair next. Last, and this is what surprised me, as a leave-in on wet and dry hair, apply a small amount to lengths and leave uh, and leaves the hair looking beautifully healthy and boosted. Now I thought that in a never in a million years is that going to work. If you use a small amount, it works amazingly and it just gets all those single hairs sort of smoothed into your style and it really does sort of give you that nice airness in the hair, that sort of lightness, but yet it looks fuller and thicker. It's an incredible product, I have to admit. My favourite out of the hair food uh, range of products. And of course, there's one for natural hair, there's one for damaged hair, there's one for frizzy hair. There is many in the range. This is my favourite. Having tried many of them now, this is my, I think I've tried three of them previously, um, and I have recently tried the damaging, uh, the damaged hair as well, which I really, really liked, but this is my absolute favourite. Um, the damaging one will be coming up on my channel real soon, and that's the shampoo, conditioner, and the hair food. But this, cannot sing about it, cannot sing the praises enough, fantastic product absolutely try it for yourself if you're looking and you're sat at home and you're thinking or where are you watching this and you're thinking i could really do with my hair being plumped up lifted volumized i could have a bit more texture i've got parts of my hair what i'm not absolutely happy with use this it's really really good and it's a product which i love i have to admit and i will be i will be putting this in my go-to products my sort of army of products and i will be keeping this in there to use and use and use and i will be purchasing it again um because i really really like it i just want to run through so something else is which is different for the ultimate the Ghani ultimate blends is it really does break down the natural origin of the product as well so we just go back through so shampoo so we have got on here so what's inside i don't know if you can see that but i've got a list of ingredients i'm just going to run through so on one side on the dark side you've got sort of the sciencey name which of course let's be honest who's got time to read through all that and then you've got the sort of what i always call the human understanding or the or the consumer on the high street looking for a product, looking for boosting their hair, and here it's got the ingredients. So for example, um, it's got what's inside, examples of sources. So we've got purified water, we've got the uh, botanical origin of several of the, I believe, the foaming agents in the hair. Then you have got pomegranates, then you've got coconut in here, you've got watermelon in here, and you've got a few other science products which are botanical of origin, and then you've got a few more, and again, it just says botanical of origin. So you've got more of a clearer understanding of what's natural in the product and what's not, which I really, really love because, of course, it clears a lot up because it's great to have an understanding of what you're putting on your scalp, I always say, especially if you've got fine, thinning hair. If you've not got a lot of it, you really want to look after it. You want to know what you're putting on your hair and in your scalp because that is vital vitally vitally important if you're using the wrong product then you're losing a battle straight off to be honest with you if you've got fine hair use products which are aimed for volume thickening and uh for that sort of uh lifted effect that's what i suppose what i'm trying to get out there not if you've got fine hair don't use something which is for smoothing because of course that's for smoothing out heavy sort of thick frizzy hair you're going to almost push yourself back into a corner of having a certain flat style so if you've got fine hair always go for volume always go for boosting products 
like these. Let's move on to the conditioner because I just want to really uh, give you a little bit of an insight on the sort of the natural origin of these products as well. So the conditioner is really good because it says here what's inside, examples of sources. We've got the purified water, then we've got a couple of sciencing products which are botanical of origin, then you've got soybean in here, you've got sunflower in here, you've got uh, pomegranate in here, coconut in here, watermelon, then you've got the sciencey products which are botanical by origin. And just to be clear, it's 97% natural origin of ingredients in here, the remaining 3% uh, ensure good preservation and sensor, uh, so an awareness, I believe, what they're trying to get out here. So it's a good preservation and awareness of where the other 3% comes from. So there's 97 in here, and you've got 96 in here. So, of course, a really fantastic high-end core of natural ingredients. So just telling you, because I think I forgot to tell you a little bit about the conditioner as well, how to use it. So as usual, after shampoo, squeeze, massage into wet hair, rinse thoroughly. Uh, ultimate Blends creates a new vegan 97% natural origin hair, uh, hair food conditioner. It's ultimate melting, lightweight texture and instantly absorbs quickly to detangle and rinse. It does detangle, which is amazing. I've got highlighted hair, so as you can imagine, that tangles up quite a lot because it needs a lot more nourishment. This keeps everything super moisturised. It's amazing. It plumps the hair, but it also gives you a real nice standard of nourishment, but not to the point where it feels like you've got no hair and it just feels heavy and cakey like some conditioners do on fine hair. The shampoo, super amazing as well. They work in perfect harmony in creating volume. So super, super cool and something which I absolutely love and will continue to use and absolutely recommend you using them yourself. And the hair mask, I just want to go through a little bit again what's on here. So similar to the conditioner, so we've got the purified water, we've got the botanical origin of a few sciencey ingredients, then we've got the soybean, we've got aloe in here, sunflower, pomegranates, coconuts, watermelon, and we've got a few other sciencey products which are botanical by origin. So again, this range, I cannot sing its praises enough. Super good, and I would recommend them to anyone who's concerned with their hair. Perhaps you're thinking my hair's feeling a bit flatter. It's feeling a bit heavy. It could give a bit more life, a bit more nourishment. Try this. You will not regret it. Last thing is what I want to just cover is price. So if you catch this on offer, because it's a relatively new product, you find, um, what I find here in the UK online, they sort of push the products into the limelight at a reduced cost. So at the moment, £3 for the shampoo I've paid for this one. Three pounds for the condition, and I think three pounds fifty for the hair food. When this goes back up, I believe it will be around about six pounds fifty, and then around four pounds fifty for the shampoo and the conditioner. Of course, I always find with Garnier Ultimate Blends product, the price varies considerably. So just always do your research on what type of price you're looking at paying as well. I want to finish this up by just showing you what it actually does. So there is no product in here apart from the fringe area here. So spray. So you can see in the back as I'm passing the brush through. It's going through nice and easy. As you can see, it's, can you just see that lift? And this is, this is all, this is all through. I mean, if I was, if I was going out this afternoon or whatever, what I would do is I'd, I'd take a little bit of wax or a little bit of pomade and I would just separate this so it didn't look so sort of heavy, um, so sort of heavy or so bulky. But as you can see, it's sort of standing up at the back as though, is sort of solid in place. And as you can see, I've got a really nice, now you may think my hair still, it doesn't really give it away so much of it being fine hair, but I can assure you it is fine hair. Um, and it's been a huge bugbear of mine. So products like this really, really do help me style my hair. I love styling my hair, but of course if you've got fine hair, very often it doesn't stay, it doesn't last, it falls flat. Um, you can style your hair, you can look around to the mirror, then look back and it's completely dropped to the style you wanted to achieve. So this, this type of product range is absolutely amazing in achieving your style for having fine hair. So I really, really hope that you've enjoyed this one. I certainly have. I hope I've given you a bit of an insight on this product. And if you are thinking about uh, buying this product, I certainly recommend it. Okay, so until next time, thanks very much for watching and take good care. And as I say, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I love receiving all comments and things. I receive so many. My channel is slowly growing and it is just amazing. And I can't thank you enough for all your support and for all my views. Okay, so lastly, thank you very much indeed for watching. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye-bye now.